Hello folks, this is A Automotive Reviews. And the first thing I want to say is thank you for coming to this channel. Thank you for sharing, thank you for liking, and thank you for subscribing. You know on the 15th we have the new 400Z Proto coming out. That is the prototype being shown by Nissan. Now what we have before us is one of the best rendering for what has been seen by the public so far which Nissan chose to reveal about the legendary 400Z. Well today we're going to talk about the VR engine that's going to be in the Nissan Z. Look at them wheels. Now the VR is a series of turbo, twin turbo, dual overhead cam V6 automobile engines from Nissan with a displacement ranging from 3.0 to 3.8 liter. An evolution of the widely successful VQ series. It also draws on a displacement from the VRH and the G JGTC and Nissan R390 GT1 Le Mans racing engines. It's been in production from 2007 to the present time. The configuration being 60 degree V6. And the cylinder board being 86 millimeters. And also 95.5 millimeters. Piston stroke being 86 millimeters. And the engine block being aluminum. The valve train being dual head over cam. Four valves per cylinder. with a compression ratio 9.0 to 1 and 10.3 to 1 twin turbo a fuel injection direct injection and the cooling system being water cooled now the dry weight of this engine which is going to make a big difference it's 429.5 pounds. That's for the VR30 DDTT, which will be in the 400Z. Now this engine was announced by Nissan December the 15th, 2015. It was first made available in the Q50 sedan, followed by the Infiniti Q60 Coupe a year later.
So now things have slowed down a little bit. Because guess what? It's coming to the 400Z. This engine is also on Word's 10 best engines list for 2017 and 2018. Which is awesome for the new 400Z. This engine features the aluminum block with arc spray mirror coating cylinder bores, aluminum cylinder heads, lightweight resin intake and lower oil pan, with compact twin direct mount turbos with integrated exhaust manifolds, and electronic wastegate actuators. Twin water to air charge coolers with one at 300 horsepower and two at 400 horsepower water pumps which we will see in the 400Z. Variable valve timing. Exhaust hydraulic continuous variable known as VTC. Boy, don't that look beautiful. Slow down, little mama. Now, production of the VR30 DDTT engine began in 2016. And the Waki Fukushima, Japan. Now, if you've been following the automotive-related newsreel lately, you probably heard about the Nissan new engine, the VR30 DDTT, and how it's coming to the 400Z. And if the naming scheme sounds familiar, it's probably because the engine incorporates design elements from two very prominent engines from Nissan history. The VR38 DDTT which is found in the R35 GTR known as Godzilla. This is a beautiful history, folks, that's coming to the 400Z. Now the VR30 DDTT is at least it appears to be very different from these two engines that it will be available in 300 horsepower which is to point out that this is what you see in the current VQ37 and it will also produce 400 horsepower in the new Nissan Z.
This configuration will produce the peak torque numbers at 1600 to 1500 RPMs. The VR30DDTT is a 3.0 liter V6 with parallel twin turbochargers. That's about the end of the similarities. What it shares with the VR38, the Nissan GTR is yet to be seen. But more than likely, this is the DNA found in the construction of the blockheads. Now two configurations. One 300 horsepower and the other 400 horsepower. And we know where the 400 horsepower is going into. The 400Z. Direct fuel injection. 10.3 to 1 compression ratio. Aluminium block. Exhaust manifolds integrated into the heads. Electronic wastegate actuators. Electronically controlled variable displacement oil pump. Twin water to air intercoolers. Hey, hey, hi. Dual water pumps on the 400 horsepower model. Optical turbocharger speed sensors. Ouch. Running zero W twenty oil. Seriously? Ow. Now this car will use direct injection, which for those who don't know, injects fuel directly into the combustion chamber. And because of this, the ECU can inject fuel in an extremely precise way and the possibility of detonation is greatly minimized which is also why Nissan is able to, pure, to get the compression ratio up 10.3 to 1. The electronic wastegate actuators can't wait to get you can't wait to see this baby and I know tuners can't wait to put their hands on this baby you can see the unique way the turbine housing mounts directly to the cylinder head You can also see the optical speed sensors on the front of the compressor housing. The sensor it will explicitly allow it to spool 30% faster than the 300 horsepower model and bring the turbos up to 240,000 RPMs. So what that means is that any behavior changes made to the 400 horsepower can be applied to this without sensors. And the electronic wastegate actuators, <laughs> which sounds awesome fun,
This car is just going to be awesome, folks. There's a lot of anticipation with tuners, and there's a lot of anticipation with those who are going to possess the new Nissan 400Z. Now on the inlet side of the LH intercoolers sits neatly under the engine cover. You'd think it was any other intake manifold if you didn't know. Twin water to air intercooler is a new one. In the Nissan performance engine book, at least. While it may be annoying to have to keep an eye on another liquid, Z32 and R35 owners can appreciate how this simplifies the intake track. Now on the Z32 for example, the ear starts at the filter and travels through the the MAF, the mass airflow sensor under the headlights, down to the turbo inlets, out the turbo outlets, and over the front of the engine bay, down by the radiator and across the intercoolers, and back up by the radiator and across the engine bay again and into the throttle bodies. Now, on the Nissan 400Z, the air will travel from the turbo inlets. So we don't have any idea of what the intake track is like upstream from that. Then out of the turbo outlets, through the intercoolers directly on top of the engine, and into the throttle body. That's it, baby. This is going to be a beast. And the last thing that really piques our interest about this engine is that those integrated exhaust manifolds Nissan has experimented with the way turbos met up with the heads in the past. And this is done without sacrificing the flow. This is going to be an awesome car, folks. See that single rubber coupler? It beats the hell out of the tr out of the twenty feet of intake piping. This is gonna be awesome, folks. Now, be glued to the computer on September the fifteenth, eight thirty p.m. Eastern. Right now, this car sits in the infinity. This engine sits in the infinity. Now, the water to air intercoolers peeking out from the engine cover. Now, the front of the engine is very similar to what? Godzilla. Which is basically the big brother to the new 400Z. This is the color texture renderings of the V6 twin turbo. This is it, babies. It is on.
coming soon folks to Zay Automotive Reviews. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And if nobody told you today, you are awesome. Fantastic. Have a beautiful, fantastic day. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more interesting videos.